you, obviously there's camaraderie there. So what goes through? You, but but all of your minds when you see something that not is not getting nicked. No, no. But what's going through your minds as you're going down? And you're seeing apart from getting not getting no. it, when he says, "Oh wow!" Like if there wasn't the if there wasn't the um, the threat of being nicked, what's that? What's that feeling? Killer Keller podcast. Killer Keller official dot com. Instagram UK frontline. Fox created. Killer Keller. And we here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Yeah. Yes. Back. Back for the first time. In it. Good friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Killer Keller podcast live and direct central London or as central as you need to be. Come on. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. And inside the house, we do have a veteran legend, not only in Graph. But also in the uh, pirate radio scene, drum and bass, hip hop, you name it. Yeah. Store, DDS, what are you saying, bro? FDC, yes, what are you back. saying? We're back. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The legacy. Yeah, man. It's another level. It's another level. And what is beautiful is you're humble with it. You just you operate in a hip hop culture. I so, love I love having guests in like thank this. Thank you, man. How That's you been? cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm back. Yeah. Last time was funny, isn't it, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we do, don't we? Yeah, man. So we had to do it again. Yeah, we had to do it again. Yeah, man. Keeps us out of trouble, doesn't it? Exactly. What's been going on? What's been happening? A uh, bit more music. Um, mm. <laughs> yes. Allow us to introduce oh, yeah. to you guys the shiny, shiny red exterior. For those of you who are listening and not watching, you're missing a treat right here. We do have the new mixtape, courtesy yes. of the man himself. Elaborate, please, sir. This is something um, from our hammer on my label, um, mine and myself, my, my other friend Max Jones. It's Living in the City. It's the Transmissions, Transmutations EP, sorry. Come on. And it's an artist called Al Hamra. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a wicked artist, man. It's a load of That's instrumentals right. from him. Let's open this shit up. And so. the, uh, apparently we're going to have a part two to it. So Damn, a part two too? There will be a part two, yeah. Well, I'm opening it up right now for those, that, again, that are listening and uh, not not watching. So this is yeah. a cassette, it's, and it's red red exterior cassette plastic, and we're opening it up right now to an eight-gate so, There's some, some real hip-hop on there, man. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Proper. The artwork on here the is killer. Artwork, yeah. yeah. Who did the artwork? It is, do you know what? It is Sarah Smith. Yeah, yeah. She's a, a friend of a friend of a friend. Nice. Did yeah. you give uh did you uh, give the uh the the nod for the graph for the for the artwork on here? Um do you know what that was always gonna be that that was always a thing but it's part I, of the plan. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It looks great. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Mm. I bet it listens good too. What's the what's the genre? What uh, what's the sound? Proper I'd say yeah, um, it, it, it's it's close to the nineties sort of era, brilliant boom bap sort of thing, and like it, it mm. if you like that, if you like the, what they call the golden era hip hop, you you will appreciate this is shit. that what, what's on there in it. Where can so, they get it? Where can they get this? This is a very, it's on digital download, iTunes, Spotify, bingo, all, all of that, all of that. Um, Transmutations, and, Ayamara, and I think we've got a few cassettes. We might have a few cassettes left. Oh, you see? Yeah. See, man got, yeah. the, man got first digits. got in there early, innit? That's so, right. That's yeah, right. man. So, store, DDS yeah. inside yeah. the place. Do you yeah. think people catch the uh, connectivity between you as the DJ and, and, and musical uh, source to the writer not, himself? Um, not unless you really know me, I, I, I don't think. I don't really tell everyone. Well, people who know me, yeah, but other, other than that, I don't. I wouldn't know. I, 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 do you know what I mean? Mm. I wouldn't. Know, I wouldn't know. Um, the the music thing's always been mainly pi- pirate radio and, uh, and more underground, isn't it? Mm. So mm. you know, and only, only, um, as far as putting music out myself, um, there hasn't. I haven't done anything for a while. The, the last couple of years, I've had something. I did. Something with um, Nico Sykes, who, who I used to work for. Dope, no U-turn. Yeah. We did something for for that uh, um, Obey Records, that guy mm. in LA and all that. Yeah. But we, but Shepard Ferry. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we did. You know what I mean, just shim low key shit right here. We did yeah, even the podcast people. We, Come on. Yeah, man. We did. We we got as I said before. You know Nathan. Yeah. Who you've big worked shout with. out shout to the fruit box, my brother. Yeah, yeah, you know it. Um, yeah, we, me, him, and Nico were working on some a drum and bass sort of thing at the moment. Sick. Yeah, see what see what, see what happens with that. But I haven't had anything out for a while, so you yeah. know. 
only now we've got the label to do it as well. So it's kind of on resurgence. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Big yeah. shout out to Flute Box Lee as well. That's the yeah. guy right there. Yeah, man. You know what I, I mean? Spoke, I spoke to him three days ago, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him. Yeah, All and, day. And his, and his, yeah, he's got a new arrival. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, bro. Yeah. Yes. By, the, by the time your new arrival sees this, she's about four years old. So yeah. she's yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true. Like, old tight. It's true. Old it's tight, Miss Four it's Years. It's true, man. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, boy or girl? A girl. A girl, yes. Girl, old yeah. tight, Miss, miss he Four Years. He has a boy old. and a girl now. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Double trouble. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, the life, life flies, don't exactly. it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It was just the other day um, that his son was born. So, yeah. Mad. Yeah. Mad. Yeah, man. You must have seen a lot of change from the pirate radio, you'd graph, and all these, all these underground things suddenly merging into a, a media spotlight and being almost like culturally appropriated. It's okay to be oh, a pirate radio. Definitely, thing, man. Like every everything's become like that now. Like, um, well, just just the other day, you, did you see the, the thing on Banksy the other day where he done some insides? Yeah, and they were yeah. like, "Oh my god." It's like, yeah, say I did that, watch. They had a problem. Oh, did they? Of course they did, because if they okay. accepted him to do it... That's, what I, that's exactly what I was saying. No, I ain't hating, but I was saying, look, mm. he, that's a blatantly stain of throw-up right there, exactly. yeah. Exactly. And, and you're, now, now you're going to call it art. Mm. So it's, you know, when, when you're ready, isn't it? That's for them that know. You know who you are, you know. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, but everything's like that, like, like, like even the music... Mm. It's a bit more commercial. The underground music now yeah. is more sort of acceptable or supposed, you know, like, you know, repackage. I've got a feeling. Here's my. Tell me how you feel about this, mm -hmm. all, but I feel like the 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 excitement from the moment they started putting dats on a stage, the yeah. excitement, the energy, the the the, the what's going to happen next disappeared. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's all, gone, it's all gone to normal. So, yeah, I know. It's like you know what to expect. Yeah. Um, like, there's, yeah, it's watered down, yeah. as they say. But, but do you know what? People who are growing up with it don't know no difference. So they're just going to go with it. Be, be like, yeah. And, and then you become one of the old heads. Probably, yeah. And then turn around and tell you your shit's shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> Which is fucked up. Like, so, <laughs> well, yeah, what, what can you do, <laughs> innit? Like, yeah. 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 Revenge of the Nerds, technology wins. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Do you know what I mean? But let's go back. Let's well, go until back. Until electricity runs out. <laughs> until wins. electricity runs out. Until someone, someone pulls the, the fucking yeah. plug, boy. <laughs> and then like, it's done. Fuck yeah. you, go home. Isn't it? Okay. What now? Hey, you know what? And what? we're in a time right now where that is yeah, On the cards, yeah. yeah. Isn't it? All of a sudden, you're not so rock and roll the moment you press the button. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? Like Mike Tyson said, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> right? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Them ones. Facts. Facts. Yeah. For real. It's a crazy time. Isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Let's get into some DDS shit. When did yeah. you get into it, brother? When did you get into the graph scene? I was into it from about... Taking part in it mm -hmm. from about 15. But looking at it... Ooh. You know, probably mm. nine or ten or whatever. Because mm. there was a lot of graph around, more street graph around then. And like, I didn't, I didn't remember all the tags I was seeing then. But as I was, as I was getting a bit older, then they started to stick in. Do, do you know what I mean? Oh, so they started to forge in your yeah, head. yeah, yeah. Like when you see a, something regular around your way, like, mm. and that, that's when I suppose I started being like, yeah, yeah, this is a, something I, I can. Relate to stuff, yeah. yeah. Was it tagging initially? Definitely. Yeah. Try, um, yeah. But I was trying to do outlines, but I never didn't straight away go out and try and do an outline myself. It's not straight, but not. It didn't take long though, till I got some paint. Like I think I the first one of the first things I'd done was like with a a metallic gold or something with a black outline. And it came out, do you know what? It didn't come out too for bad. For gold, it looked yeah, all right. Yeah, man. It, I, and it was there for years. In Stone, it was in Stonebridge Park, in the park, um, on the back of the school, as it goes. And mm. um, Yeah, I remember some um, 
I, I showed it to another writer who see it, who was talking about it, and I said, that's my first thing, and they were like, you're lying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, so you knew you onto something. Yeah, I'm like, right, so it must be all right. Like, I'm going to do this again then. He's like, 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 stop lying. I was like, no, nah, that was my first thing. He's like, like, come on, man. I was like, no, that was my first, like, first one. Oh, so and, you but, but you know what? Then um, I did, this is something I don't always do, like, I did have an outline on paper that I took with me and kind of mm. did it did it to it sort of thing. Yeah. But What's your feelings on that? That's, 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 a, that's a cool thing. Yeah. But um, for other purposes, I normally just have it in my head, in it? What I'm going to do. But, but Do you draw it out first and then have it in your head? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do I'd you rock... think, is that, is, that a, is that a thing that I don't... writers do? No, yeah, people do both, innit? Yeah. People do both. I've I've gone I have done since had something on me, but more more often than not, I'd rather have an outline that I know really well mm. and sort of roll with that and then, you know. It takes a photographic memory, doesn't it? To, to not really. Not if you've done an outline that many times now. Nah. What the same similar sort of outline? Same yeah, but you can if you've got an outline that you, you've got down, you can always change it on the fly pretty quick. Okay, so it's like a template. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you like, you can change connections around mm. or whatever in it. Yeah. So. Originally Northwest. Yep. Always. Family from Northwest. Um. From as far as yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Always been Northwest. Yeah, yeah. Um. What they think when when you got into it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what didn't they think, rather? <laughs> <laughs> Not really much until you, until you get bagged, did it? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and they got something to say, right? <coughs> yeah, it's like Mike Tyson said. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Do you know what? Um, I got bagged t- t- like twice or twice. back in the day, yeah. Like, and never, and that was it. I never really got much more complaints because I never got bagged again. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If ain't broke, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if the tree falls in the forest and no one hears it. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's right. Yeah. Um, how did you get involved? How did you become a member of DDS? Uh, by the way, this, it wasn't his, this wasn't his first crew, by the way. We, we, uh, I've, yeah. Um, how many crews have you been in? Or few, are you a in? A few, a yeah. few. As I was saying at the end the other yeah. day, innit? Like, did, did, um, I hardly put up loads of crews, but you know what I mean? Um, you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, DDS, FDC? FDC mentioned CBM, CBM. MTS, um, WOT, do you remember Probably, that, that? No, no, that, I don't remember WOT. It's, and do you know what? It's, it's more friends than, than anything, you know? Because you're tight it, It's with people them. who you, you, you know and you're, and you're cool with, do you know what I mean? It's, it's more of that. Um, TK, Damn. TKS. <laughs> but it, it's, it's more of like, it's affiliation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's I'd crazy. Say, I'd but, say. But you're like, so I'd what? Because you're, you're what? You're so sound that people are just like, oh, uh, we'll put you in. No, I don't know. It must be. Is that? It must be. It's gotta be. There's loads of, but do you know what? There's loads of people who are in those cruises. A few people I can mention that are in loads of cruises as well. So it's yeah, not, Mir's it's not one of them as well. Super isn't he? rare, like yeah. Mm. There's, there's other people who's in loads of crews. But to be in like to be in DDS, FDC, CBM. TKS, like these are like <coughs> That's it. seminal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You had to be busy to be. <laughs> At the time, boy. <laughs> Man was raising paint every day and all that and going out every day, every day, all the time. Like, Talk to me about that. Talk to me about that era. That was a different time, in it? When. Um, Man used to be bunking train <laughs> to go waking up early, go go either f- out of London or wherever to go get it. Go get paint, for, um, that that was for the day, and then evening. So the day would be mission, that. or he, or sometimes you might even paint in the day in it <laughs> as well. Like, um, give me some details on them. Calls, give me give me some details on them days. You know, like. The, because we've heard stories on the podcast about them days, but I don't think anyone's ever like had what, their, their, like what sort of thing you're talking about. What's the what was the process? Because obviously we're talking in hindsight now. So yeah, what was the process? You where would be 
your where would you <laughs> depart from? Where would you land? What would you? What I would be the wake mode? Wake up from my bed. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. To <laughs> I that would go exactly. 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 I would exactly. get a phone. I want back. all of that. All I would that. either text um, someone who yeah. I was writing with at the time. Um, boast a lot. Fume. I'll type a boast. Lot. I'll type fo- fume yeah, all day. Um, them, them two is the main ones, really, yeah. man. Yeah. But um, and link up and go and raise some paint and like, go to your your home base. Was it baggy wherever. trousers? Was it big zip ups? It was a bit in the transition period in between that. There was that, but do, do you know, sort of the jungle thing was just just coming mm-hmm. along. Like, um, do you remember there was a rave called A Wall? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, um, the SW one. Yeah, right. That that. Yeah, that was a little spot. Do you remember? But also, do you remember uh, Labyrinth? That, see, that was a kind of different side to that. Oh, that was dude, more like where was Labyrinth? In Highbury, isn't it? In Dalston? Yes, I do remember on it. On the high road? Yeah, on the high road. Like, Angel Ways. Yeah. No, hold on. No, 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 no Kingston no. Road Ways. Yes, yes. Dalston Kings then. Uh, on the road, like, come uh, out the station, uh, bus a right, bus a left, it was on the corner. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <gasps> Oi, do you know how grimy that place was? Like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. One time. Yo. Yeah, man. Me and, me and uh, my brother Dave, who doesn't write, but came barking with me, missed and fumed one time. Like, yeah, yeah. He, me and him used to go there every like, every Friday. That was our start of, the, start of the raving weekend. That was the spot. Did you used to paint and rave at the same time? Yeah. Where would you put the paint when you raving? Oh, not while I was. Actually, I was going to say. Had done, I actually <laughs> had done that before, like going out. But now, nah, if I was raving that night, I was raving. I'm not painting mm. sort of thing. But I'm, I'm sure I've done both in the same night before. Like, like, yeah. How would you make money back in them days? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Work. Yeah. <laughs> really, I don't know. It, 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 I find the whole thing into it's, it's one of the. Do you know what? I was actually, you know, it's funny you say that. I was actually thinking that how did I afford garments and all that? Yeah, back, back then, if you were to go to a rave, it's like ten pound a bottle, two bottles. Um, do you know? By a certain time, I was getting guest lists for lots of things anyway. So it's because he's a I fucking don. It's because he's a don. Do you know what that 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 was a no? But uh, to start with, obviously, pay, um, yeah, paying how much was it to get into raves? Then it weren't that much, but yeah, travel there and back and the mm. whole night you would be spending a bit even if you weren't paying to get. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? Even back in a day, yeah, that's, that's a nifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sixty quid. Yeah, it's, it's like like. People somewhere and compare it to a weekend and dam, like it's spending the same sort of money. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Do it's a very, it? it's a very, um, it, it's a very well rounded lifestyle when you think about it because you're yeah. in the DJ world, you're yeah. doing the pirates, you're doing the illegals on there, but yeah. then you were going over to the graph side and it was super illegal as well. Yeah, yeah. You had but, the best well, of both worlds. I was lucky though, um, <clears throat> and as I, I don't know if I said it before in the last in the last interview, how I got into the pirate radio was my mum met this guy um, Paul Roast who did the Sunday Roast, the famous rave, and Ooh. he wanted um, the Groove Rider one. The, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, Groove Rider yeah, rave, yeah, 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 yeah. exclusive Groove, Groove Rider um, run. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know Hold I mean? tight, DJ Ron, all yeah. day pioneer. And shout out to Paul Rose. Like, Paul Rose, yeah, yeah. Groove Rider. These are the legacy holders. And it, um, he bait, when I met Paul and he wanted us to do, and I mentioned Moose as well because it was, it was a thing. Unsung a, hero. Yeah, yeah. Total unsung hero. Moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Moose's, big, Moose's brother, um, big brother of Moose Productions who did the raves back in the day. <gasps> He's a G. Wow, yeah, you just blow my mind. Yeah. I saw him recently, yeah, and he goes to me, do you realise how special those days were, and and how, and I go and 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 how, and how lucky, uh, and I was like, "Brah, like you said it, bro." Like I was, mm. I'm, I was just happy to be around, sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? That's right. And but happy to be alive afterwards as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but but, do you know what? Yeah, that was some mm. some some good good definite good times that won't happen again, isn't it? Mm. As far as the raves. And the scale and whatever. Mad times, huh? Uh, yeah. So your mum introduced... My, my mum saw an advert in the Wills... I think it was the Wills and Brent Chronicle 
for a graffiti artist wanted for a local community project or something. And Moose had an arcade in Stone... Is it Stonebridge Park yeah. complex? Yeah. And we just did some graph for it. Me, Psych, Diet and Teach. And um, it wow. was... Wow. That's how I got to meet Paul Rose probably. And then he was like, yeah. <laughs> you, um, you do... Uh, I was telling him what I get to in my pastime, like do graffiti, do it on trains, whatever. And he's like, do you get any money out of that? <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> yeah. He was laughing at me kind of thing. You know? and yeah. I was saying I also was buying vinyl by the week hard, uh, into raving. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm doing a radio. I'm about to do a radio station. And, and um, then... Yeah, bing, yeah, yeah. Just like the next day, you were... Not the next day, but soon after, I was playing... For years after that, um, I'd be playing on radio stations f through this guy and playing played a few parties, raves for him and all that, through, through that... Um, and met loads of people, but that 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 started a lot of the main thing for me and a few other people, man. Shout out to um, MC Lipton. Hold tight, good, man, MC Lipton. Man. Come on, hold tight. Yeah, big up. Uh -huh. Hold tight. Um, salut, salut. Yeah. We are drinking, by the way. We are yeah, having a yeah. blinder. In it, uh -huh. in it. But yeah, that, like that, a bit of this. That, that, yeah, man. <laughs> I like a bit of this. <laughs> That led to a lot, of, a lot of the music stuff, man, because a few people came from South who were already doing pirate, pirate radio. Don FM was on at the time. Yeah. Um, a good mate of mine, Ruxpin, who's now um, Universal Project, he came on the station, a guy called Stamina, who's... Um, you know, wait, there, this Oof. Stam... Um, this is... Now no, we're no, getting no, into no, this zone. Stamina is... Um, who is he managing now? Is it the jo big Jonas Boys or something? Something mega big. What, what like, like a pop yeah, band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The he's, Jonas Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's managing them now. Or what, whatever. Stamina? Yeah, yeah, Stamina from Putney. Like, he's managing them now. Wow. I know, it's nuts. Dude, you know what? You know, you're living, mm. you're learning this game. Okay. Yeah, it's mad. It, it, Start yeah, from uh, a pirate and then... Fred DJ out. Fresh was on the station. Yeah. You know, you know he's... Oh, now, hold on, tell us about the skibber. Bad... Tell us about the skibber story. Okay, that was from... We've got stories in this piece, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I met him through doing pirate radio station called Crystal, Crystal FM. And I did that. I, start, I went to a college um, in Hammersmith called William Morris. Do you know? Yeah, Morris? of course, yeah. The year it opened, we went there. And the first day, the first day there is a girl called Amy... Shout out to Amy. She was like, knew I was into jump, jump, yeah, yeah. whatever thing. She goes, yeah, I've got a mate. He's got a radio station. And she introduced me to this guy called John Crazy J. Much respect to Crazy J. Crazy J, hold tight. And um, that weekend, I was raving, going to Labyrinth. And on the Sunday, went on the Friday, and on the Saturday morning, I was playing on Crystal FM. And I went there and the, there was a guy sort of DJing when I got there and it was Skibbity and he wasn't a DJ yet or he wasn't an MC even yet. Um, but he was he was the head who was all at the studio, you know, mm -hmm. who had love for the music and was finding out Sweet. what he was going to do yet. And this was before, like, yeah, he, he went on to become, not long after that, he he was come took it quite serious and <laughs> took it where, yeah. Big shout out to Skibber, that's my boy. Shout out to Skibber, man. I remember when you told me that story and yeah. I was just like, my head, hands, yeah. my head was in my hands. And I just, yeah. Because we had him on podcast and he never said a single thing about this. So this is just, yeah. this is poetry. Shout out to Diamond White as well. Hold tight, uh, Diamond, Diamond White. Diamond White. Yeah, hold tight. Well, hold the tight. names are coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping Jack Frost as well. He was a big graffiti fan, wasn't he? He found out he he did know his thing about graffiti. At, um, yeah, at Robbo's there was a uh, thing for uh, Robbo at Cargo. It's in Peach Robbo. Yeah, old type Robbo yeah. legend. Mm. And um, Jack Frost was there saying, "What are you doing?" At, like, like because he he used to obviously see me at raves, and I'm like, "Yeah," into this whole yeah. thing, and he's like, "Raw," and he was like, he was overwhelmed. Like he was like, "Raw," he's like, "I didn't know these graph guys listen to." 
sort of his shit and he's like yeah and I bet man. you were thinking we didn't know you were into this shit yeah that's what I was definitely thinking but yeah. I think he knew I think did did Drax know him all along or something like that I don't know if they but but sure. some, there might have been a connection that's one for the part two there might, there might have been the, a, I don't yeah, know I don't know about that uh-huh. um, you'd have to ask Drax that yeah. but yeah the yeah, music, man. the music culture, particularly with drum and bass and, and graph, they've they've always blended well together. Even garage to to a point as well. It's like graffiti. Mo- I said it's a zonk as well. Graffiti moves with yeah. the times of music, doesn't it? Yeah, over here anyway. Well, a lot of um, the artists are, have been writers, like you know um, Martin Lana. Is, is uh, I'm going to say mm. Martin mm. Lana whole time Liberty yeah, whole Lana time, whole time Martin Lana yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah whole time whole time, whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 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 man. and also there's, there's a bunch of others I had um, I had uh, Oliver Sudden here this week and he was literally you know a writer uh, a DJ right it's, it falls in it, it's in the same paddock isn't it of yeah creative uh, underground Movements, isn't it? Yeah, D- definitely, definitely, man. Yeah. And I always feel like um, I don't know about you, but when when I discover that a DJ or a rapper or an artist is into graph, yeah, I just kind of give a bit more of a salute, a bit more of a higher praise of like you're doing something because it's, so, it's you know so that's more you can you can relate to, isn't it? Because yeah. you know what goes with it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Makes you want to know more, maybe. Yeah. yeah. An integrity, yeah, for the art. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, th- and th- do you know what? There's, there's, there's a few out there. Like, there's a few people, people like that out, out there. Who's like, mm. yeah. Do you think Goldie set the prototype? Yeah, like, you gotta say, yeah, definitely. Like I told you that on the last one at that, that um, Unity in Fulham, mm. where I went up. Yeah, I went I up to, to him. explain that. Yeah, do do explain. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a Goldie being part of one of my favourite record labels, Reinforced All Records, day. And, Reinforced and then Metalheads. Um, he had a he had a, a EP, a picture disc coming out that weekend that me and my friend were lo- well looking forward to, and no one really knew at that. In fact, a lot of the um, writers I was hanging around with then weren't so into the. The music I was into, the jungle hardcore. Mm. What in were they fact, into? Hip hop, strictly hip hop. It was a strictly hip hop affair. Strictly rapping. <laughs> I'm telling you, like they were like, I remember certain people chatting shit, and then and then they want to. Then years later, they come around and they're like, oh, you go into that thing, like yeah, yeah. that world. Can I borrow your like, records? Yeah, yeah. And then they want in, in it, right? Yeah, but, yeah. but you I know, going up to Goldie again. Yeah, um, what's what's the next enforcers? And he he looked at me like. How the f- like? How do you mm. know about that? I like like, like mm-hmm. and then he was like pointing to a colour in his piece, and he's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be a picture disc, and it's gonna be like this sort of turquoise." I was like, "All right, like yeah, Goldie, I re- I do rate him still, but yeah, I, I rate, I rate, I rate him hard, man. Twenty five years as well. That Inner City yeah. Life single that yeah. came out twenty five years ago. Wow, yeah. doesn't seem. Actually, it does seem quite long. <laughs> when you watch yeah, the video, yeah, well, I was when, about to say, it doesn't seem like... You can it, remaster the song, but you can't remaster the video. That's yeah, 25 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goldie's, yeah. He's, Legend. And he's still doing stuff, man. And, he's, and you know what? Oh, like, um, the music I've heard, still still high quality. Like, yeah, Every man. Day, man. Yeah. I, I do value the minimal... He, 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 him as a selector for his own record label speaks volumes. And when you listen to... And enforcers as well. When you listen to the pedigree and the way that they work songs in drum and bass, it ain't it ain't build up, build up, build up, build up, drop. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, it's some subtleties. It's like you're on a movement. It's I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Reinforced lot had it down, no man. Down hard. <laughs> Full hero. Legend, all Digo, them guys. Yeah, Ian, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Bad, 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 bad. Nothing they could like, do wrong. There was an era. Glitch, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, I still look back on them. At that era, that whole era, was the reason why I beatboxed drum and bass. Uh, that's a that whole thing was a reason why a lot of things. Mm. Uh, uh, the whole reason for a lot of things, which I would say, that label, man, yeah. definite, definitely, definitely groundbreaking shit. Yeah, man. Talk to me about the missions. The missions. Let's get okay. Some mission shit. 
Graph missions. Yeah. Okay. How did you get into FDC? Um, hanging around with Scar and Cons. Shout out to them guys. Shout out Scar and Cons. Defo. Um, that was when I was in South a lot. In, in sort of the Putney, Fulham, mm. South. Mm. That's their uh, manner. South. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that kind of show the area between Croydon and mm-hmm. Clapham Junction. Those. That's right. That, <laughs> yeah. That was my that was my entry hole into we London. Did, back then. Um, what's it? We did I paint with. We did Cot Fosters. Um, did I talk about that? No, go thing? for it. Do it. We. This was a mad. Um, there was these stone slats, like like. High, high, as high, nearly as high as this building. I'm not. We spent all this time taking these stone slats out, right? Uh, Hold on, I think I might have told. uh, So you were painting, decorating, rebuilding as well. Hey, this was a mission just to get to a train, yeah. And then there must have been after about three, four hours. Right, this is a mission just to get to paint this train. There was some fence you could just sort of go around. <laughs> yeah. That's like something out of a carry on. Chi- for me. Li- <laughs> not far, man. Not far. We spent right? hours chipping away. Oh, hey, the these things were like the weight of a car or something. Like, and it would take, wait, if one of you dropped it, you're fucked. Like, and then you like, just walked around the corner. I, I remember it was about four hours in that like, when someone looked just a little bit around this corner, yeah. And two minutes later, just climbing over this little thing. <laughs> Paint, we were painting. And do you know what? It was getting close to the morning as well, yeah? So I remember it got bright. Um, we finished. And then what happened? We got on the train. And so I think someone might have got clocked looking. Oh, waiting, shit. Waiting, yeah, for really? the train to go past. But oh. we got away. In, mm. uh, yeah. Life's a crazy game out there, man. <laughs> Tell it me. Yeah. And there's no rule book. No rule book. Particularly for painting, decorating and rebuilding. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Not for the DIY, man. <laughs> how did you how did you get into DDS? Um I don't think there was a how I got into it. I didn't expect to be in it. I was out at a party once and um it was like, do you want to put it up? So I was like, right, are you joking? But then, obviously it wasn't, because I'm bredging with yeah. everyone from time ago. Same with, like, TK. It's the same. Mm. It's just one day. Like, yeah, if, like, someone just come up, like, a few come up to me and goes, yeah, do you want to put out TK? It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, go on then. Safe. Crazy. And it's, it's more like that. Yeah. It's not like there's some trials or, or anything. It, but no, after, you, after if you've been paint if you if you have been doing it for a bit and I suppose and you're tight with people mm. they can trust you so I suppose that's for us I think that's more of a thing yeah do you think it's more like uh, associate uh, trust within the that you've gone so far and you're already initiated as far as trusted and you can be present at things that it just becomes that it becomes when it becomes I don't know I, I really do you know what I mean because I, I tell you what I think because you're the most you're the most mild mannered coolest dude that is so hip to your game and you yeah. know you know stuff about stuff yes and you know the difference between being a dick and not you know the difference yeah. between right and wrong yeah and you know that when you are depended on yeah Maybe that's the deal, right? I don't know. You'd have to ask them, man. I don't know. I do not know. Well, then we should. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you have everyone on here, nearly, isn't it? Mm. Like, um, but you know, these things are really important for documentation purposes to get an understanding of what what breaks someone through into the the association. Uh, to, 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 you know what I mean? To to be a part of the um, uh, the, the VIP. Yeah, yeah you, ha- you you know yeah, it's good yeah. to know what what makes it what what build as a person you know yeah I think that's part of it I think what you what maybe, you embody maybe well, well safe man <laughs> 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 I've never like yeah I don't do, there is a thing that like, you do to get in 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 a crew if you if when you spend so much time with people after a while it's like you know like people like. Yeah, like I don't remember. D- getting in DDS was like 
I was at a party and um, I think it must have been form. He goes, yeah, what, you're going you're gonna to put up DDS now? And I was like, didn't know what he's saying. And he sort of said it again. And I was like, oh, what, you say you put it up? And he was like, yeah. <sighs> sort of them ones. Right. And then, yeah. Never look back. Yeah. How yeah. proud were you when that happened? How stoked were you? I was, I was haps, obviously. Like, yeah, it's a sick crew, isn't it? It's like, yeah. It's the Damn, it's just one, yeah. Same, same, same with the others as well, man. Like, mm. like, yeah, man. Are you happy how far it's gone? Are you happy with with how I'm, things I'm, have turned out? I, I like what people have done. Like, like I like that, the fact that a lot of people are still going and are even better. Some people are uh, making a living off of it. Some mm. are pushing it in. It, uh, do you know what I mean? It's mm. wicked to see, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you, I think, but every, the, the thing, I like the fact that some people are still doing it and they've gotten better, so much better, and they're still yeah. getting better. I some know. people, I, I know. if you're paying attention, man, what? I know. Crazy, isn't it? I think, um, I th- do you know, do you know Met? Get, get, yeah, of course, get, yeah. Get. Hold tight, Met CBM, come on. Hey, you just like, get better. I, I'm fa- I, I look on, on, I see his out- outlines. He's dug before, and he was already sick, sort of thing. <laughs> but it's like, oh, uh, yeah, I know. And and I'll type crept as well. Crept is a nu- he's nuts. Yeah. See this, these boys. There's, yeah, bear people. There's bear people. I think are, are really. I know. Yeah, man. I know. That's what keep. Yeah. Yeah, man. Glad to, glad to be a part of it. You know. Yeah. Like blatantly. Yeah, you, and you blame me up, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about the most stealth, craziest mission you've ever, ever had. No holes, no holes barred. Stealth. Um, that hasn't involved like madness. rebuilding mil- <laughs> rebuilding um, <laughs> walls. Okay, there's one. Or well, yeah, there's one. Without without implicating any. Uh, yeah. Um, just. Um, Without going into too much detail, just um, being really organised about how we get in mm-hmm. um, to paint a, a big met, like a whole car or something, and being having having all angles covered, should we say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like outside of where we're painting. Mm-hmm. If there's anything on happening, we'll know before. And um, you know. Uh, Ooh, wait there. Somebody's just come into my head. No, wait, no, no, give me a second. Give me a second. Killer Keller podcast always brings it to you up front. <laughs> live. <laughs> Talk to me. Um, is, it, is it Christmas Day? Where um, a load of us went into a practically like not a manhole cover on the street, but the same sort of thing. And we were under part of um, Northern Nine. Yeah. Um, what, you were above it? As it f- from below? No, no, from the street level, yeah. we were just all of a sudden in an underground, in a tube tunnel. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do they okay. exist? Does that happen? Yeah, I did. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a few spots like wow. that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm not sure. No, we didn't paint there that night, but we got... This but for, once but you even, for, even for me, this was a like the first time I'd been this this place. It was, I was like, wow! Like, really? I've literally just gone down a ladder, yeah, and um, lifted a hat, yeah, and um, it, you're in the zone. In you're in South London under like your your the platform. You can see the light where the platform is, but like, you're in a tu- you're in that tunnel, like. Right? And where are the trains? The trains right in front of you. There's alcoves to get out of the way, kind of thing. There's little alcoves yeah. to get out of the way, and um, a piece of wall separating the up the track going the other direction. That's insane. It's, 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 Does it's, that exist? I can't. Yeah, that yeah, exists. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a few spots like that um, where only, only sort of really writers will know. Like thing. Um, the thing is, what I'm talking about is in quite a people. 
there's a bench by it. People will sit at that. They don't know what that door and is. And they don't know what yeah, the door yeah, is? There's, like, like, oh. there's a few places like that, man. Like, yeah. You know when the obvious thing is in front of you? But yeah, you don't, yeah. that sort of thing? Yeah. Like, even for me, when I was like, that, that time when I was, I was like... Uh, 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 the whole time I'm going, I'm going down mm. the ladder, going raw, and someone else is going. And you're trying, to, you're trying yeah, to think yeah. about where you are in the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. And so, and the other, and someone else who's there is wow. going. I know, like, like they heard you. You're like, yeah, I know. They're, they're, I'm going raw, like they're going. Yeah, I What's know. What's your thought? What, what goes through? Because obviously there's camaraderie there. So what goes through? But but all of your minds when you see something that not is not getting nicked. No, no. But what's going through your minds as you're going down? And you're seeing apart from getting not getting no. when he says, oh wow, like. If there wasn't the if there wasn't the um, the threat of being nicked, what's that? What's that feeling? Um, what's your piece gonna look like? And how amazing! <laughs> That's probably the other only thing you're thinking about. Oh yeah, not getting fried, but you're yeah. pretty pretty careful. So so everything's what everything's heightened. The whole thing is like yeah, totally yeah, yeah man. You've got to be kind of aware in it. You're gonna be. So it's not it's not the Goonies one eyed woolly pirate ship moment. It's more of a what the f- okay. We have to. Really it could, probably it. could be a little bit of that. Um, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. I was just think, I was thinking of that. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a good one. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I could relate to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could relate to that. The Goonies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That feeling of like. We've struck gold here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, one time I was going to paint... Do you know G? Um, Gloucester's, Gloucester Road. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, this was a Sunday evening, yeah, and um, a mate of mine... I'm not, I was about to say his name. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> um, a mate of mine, Rat4, mm-hmm. was going to was gonna meet me... Um, we're actually going to meet in the yard. This is... Don't normally do this, but the train happened to stop between Earl's Court and and the platform was going to, mm. and I'm looking out at the trains and I see my man on the tracks there in it, and this is a full full train right, and he sees me and he's laughing and he's with someone else we were going to paint with, and you know he um he starts the, he does my tag on the window while I'm on the, Shut and, and, and up. On, the, on the train yeah people can't if you unless your fake hands are pressed up against the window it's just. Black. black and it's only lit where the trains yeah. are, are um, just that and we were hanging sort of outside the yard and you see um, a tag go on sort of backwards from outside onto the window people are looking at the window like what the fuck yeah, you just see a f- yeah 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 like he just done a reach but check this I get out um, I climb onto tracks to go and meet him and he's not there he's just been chased off in it so <laughs> yeah yeah I I didn't go and paint. I, I sort of put it together. Um, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't, he wouldn't just dust out on me like that. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Something had happened, obviously, in it. So it's a lot of intuitive kind of. Yeah, like you yeah. Say, these yeah. things happen, and you yeah, see yeah. that happen. And yeah. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, you you, you yeah. follow your instincts, don't you? Yeah. So like, wow. if you were on that train, it, it would have looked like some 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 voodoo shit going down. Like some, <laughs> this tag coming on the window from outside, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Like yeah, that was mad. Talk to me about the scenery. Talk to me about the yeah. the, the that that feeling of 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 painting. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be on the train. It could be on a wall. Whoever. But but in those places where you never expect yourself ever to be. Yeah. Like what what's that feeling? What's the what's the adrenaline behind that? What's the what's the feeling? Um. Um. Get. A, Get it finished and get away with it. That's the feeling, to be honest. Um, but I'm not. I'm not saying it's not. Yeah, it's manic and that, but it's wicked at the same time. Obviously, mm. um, it's like, yeah. Look, I'm, I've only got one chance to do this mm. and get this right. Mm. So you know, you're you're being quick, but you're ov- obviously trying to be really careful as you can be mm. as well, like to make it look good, but. With with doing it more and more, that you, you look, you sort of you get better at that. Do you think there's a complacency the more you do it? Do you think you get more savvy to the? Depends. Um, Have you ever got camp- that point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been there, but um, luckily, I've 
you know what I mean? Yeah, but you, um, you've managed but, to but I, I've also had the flip of that where doing it more and more has made me more on point, makes you more on point, makes you, like, as I said, mm. do you know? So like, what, for second, one end you get like that, but then yeah, on the other yeah, end yeah. you get more on point. Yeah, yeah I, I'd yes, definitely yes, say yes. I'm more on point, be Love more that. on point. Yeah. Um, like, if something doesn't feel right or something, um, I probably won't do it, like, mm. do you know what I mean? Or, mm. But, um, yeah. Do you feel like, Immortal, like, right, it sounds really dramatic, and I don't mean I'm trying to find a better language to describe it, but the, the mortality of you when you're a kid or mm. younger doing it. Oh my it, gosh. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know who you should ask about that? Go on. Nathan Flutebox, because <laughs> that's something we talked about a lot, because Nathan, out of all of us, would be the worst with who's who was invincible then. Really? Yeah. Was he? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, man. My man was... N- yeah. yeah. Seriously. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how some of them do it, man. Like, um, but everyone, you, everyone's like that when you're that age, but yeah. but some people are just extra, in it? Yeah, extra. <laughs> extra. I remember like... In fact, co- some, some people take it a bit further into how yeah, 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 teenage yeah, yeah. years. I've had but, people in a cab with me back in the day, right, where I'm in the front seat with a driver... And they're listening to my friends in the background. And they go, pull up and they go to the toilet and go for a piss. And he goes for a piss. Mm. And the driver turns around and goes, you know your mate? Mm. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, he's a, he's a handful. Right. Look out for him. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't see it when you're in the bubble. But of course not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, it's proper. Like, there's always not. a loose one. There's always a loose oh, one. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. It's like, yeah, you don't have perspective. It's like, because it's Cause there. You've you got to look at it from there. Yeah, because you're young and you just... You you go with emotions and the friends that you have then are the ones that you're just you you working with you sparring yeah. with, isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Life's um, a mad one, man. Yeah, the invi- yeah invincibility thing. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't leave. That never leaves them, does it? And that it, it doesn't for years. No. 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 Some people just stay like that. I endorse Graf as being one of the most rawest, most truest forms of art ever. Yeah. yeah. For all of these reasons. Yeah. And the, the flippant, the, 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 the throwaway element of it. Like you say, you don't, get, in a, get in away and gone. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to hear You might not see that thing again. Yeah, again. Yeah. Unless you get back for it. Unless you get back for it. <laughs> and then you're in front of it. Then you can have a copy with, this, with the case. And there's a little done. bit of you that's like, oh yeah, I'm sure that wasn't too bad actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. But, you know, um, again, we're talking hindsight. This is all in hindsight. Yeah, yeah. But what, what, what... Educational purposes. Educational purposes. <laughs> and what charm, what's charming about Graf, and I think throws everybody off the scent, is those Banksy moments. Those yeah. moments where it's like, you know, like, but it's really... It works. Mm-hmm. It works. Yeah. Whether it's street art or Graf, whatever, yeah. it works. Yeah. So why, why deny it? Yeah. You grew up with it. Don't, why are you denying it? It's a real hard... It's a thin line, isn't it? It is. Um, it's... I don't know. Everyone's entitled to deal with it the way they want to deal with it, but, yeah. Mm. There, um, there was a guy... I was watching a thing on... Um, proper old, old, old writer. Like, I was like, wow. Like, you, the way... He, he seemed to have taken a different path once he stopped writing... Like, um, mm-hmm. but uh, I, I try to remember the whole. I, I was watching this literally two days ago on on YouTube, and I can't. Um, what was the writer's name? I do, can't, I do you know what he's? He's more of an artist sort of now than. But he, wait, there, you, do you know what he, he used to do? The murals in the t- in the tunnels in New York. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, um, yeah, because he was living with the squatters. And That's all that. right. Comments below, tell us what that yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the one I know the one you're talking about. Literally. That was an amazing it's a vice, wasn't it? Was yes, like that's that? right, yeah, that's yeah. right, that's right. I was like, rah, so this guy at some point in his life has gone this this way with yeah. it. mad, isn't it? Mad. Like, yeah, yeah. But he he that became his exhibition spot. Yeah, I know. He 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 used it, yeah, yeah, levels. Crazy. Isn't it? What's the future, my brother? Like the future, uh, the future f- uh, is is bright, obviously, and um, it's gonna be pretty loud. 
going to be some music. Bam. This right here, baby. <sighs> yeah. And a uh, part two. This, um, <laughs> we're disc- talking about part two as we speak, literally. Um, since since the last the oh, last shit, one shit, we've shit, done, shit. since the last one we've done... Um, just reloading for people that are just bridging. coming in later. Yeah. If you're looking... On screen, you're seeing some gold. If you're on audio, get bam. involved. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. That's right. Yeah, man. That's right. Yeah. Um, our hammer is like, he's got another one ready to go. As fire as that, it, it's just like... <sighs> Good keep up with the pressures, brother. Do you know what? Um, and he's actually a friend of ours as well. Like He had about... Three, four years ago, or might even be a little bit longer, he, he'd given us a mixtape before. I don't know why we didn't put that out. Like, I, I still listen to that, that, that thing he sent us then, and it's like... Oh, put it out. You have to. Yeah, I have to talk to Max, man. Yeah, like, it's... Get these mixes it's rolling, sitting there, baby. It's sitting there. Like, right, so... Um, we'll but get... um, this, this label, Living in the City, it's... it's um, it's, gonna, it's, it's not all going to be hip-hop. It's going to be just... Um, Stuff we like, do you know what I mean? Like I feel different. like there's a, I feel like there's a, the home of London, yeah, lies within the, the underground, yeah, no matter how much you decorate, yeah, it, it's got to be, it's got talking to decorate. Do you remember the Ray Flyers with the drum and bass with the jungle flyers with the graph and stuff? Do you remember that back in the day? Which ones? There's so, there's so many, like, that's what I mean. It's um, like back in the day, it was just, I it remember, was, I, Crazy. I, I, there was there were raves. Remember the raves with with the five pound notes, the fivers, the, yeah, um, tenors, and um, there were, there the were, tenor flyers. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah, 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 yeah. They were at Roller Express and shit. And, yeah. um they used to have irony. Irony was all about like having yeah. like marmite with like. Uh, come a rave on, quote. Oxo cubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them sort of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. My mate yeah, or something. Yeah, some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just irony, the it, whole thing. It, it, you, All pills driven and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bla- like blatantly as well. Do, 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 there was a house rave. Um, shout out to um, Mikey Lopez, Mickey Lopez. Um, tight Lopez. Come on. He, he, he used Mickey to do Mikey. This is. Um, going back, this is a house sort of thing. He used to do, you know, Camden Palace? Of course, Coco. yeah, of course. He used to get it on tick. And he used to do a party there called um, Match Made in Heaven, people might remember. And he goes, the flyer, he goes, check this, his flyers were knickers. So he'd be giving girls knickers in the queue, like when he was flyering his thing. And he actually said, he's just from his, he goes, girls were taking off the thing and putting his knickers on, you know. You know what I mean? Like, that's some, like, that's a good way to advertise your party, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> suppose. Yeah. From a promoter's point of view. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. COVID but... killed the rave star. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> what a golden era. I know, man. Isn't it? Crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. You happy? Yeah, man. As happy as I can be anyway, you know. Yeah. What's getting you down? Um, government. <laughs> the usual stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Times yeah. are changing, my friend. Yeah. yeah. But we just got to be in it to win it. As long as we're keeping on moving. Oh, keeping def- the, definite. Keeping this stuff happening. Definite. Oh, I'm going to go back and do some music mm. now. Mm. Like, I'm going to go back and do, do, a little, do a little bit of some drums. I'm working That's on what today. I want to fucking hear. Yeah, man. And still, still rolling and still, still doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, man. Oh, that's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's man. Right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, out like that. Big shout out to the store, man. Hold oh, yeah. tight. Respect, respect, DDS, man. DDS, all day. Respect, man. Share, sharing is caring. Don't be strangers, all right? You know what to do, all right? Stay lucky, people. Peace. Peace, peace. Move it, move it through that.